Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 2 minus uh, square root of 2 plus x is equal to x. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since uh, this expression at left hand side of this equation 2 minus uh, square root of 2 plus x is under square root. So, this uh, must be greater than or equal to 0. And this uh, right hand side of this equation, this x must be greater than or equal to 0. This x, x must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, let us continue by squaring both sides of this equation. Left hand side we have square root of 2 minus square root of 2 plus x is equal to x and from here we take square of both sides of this equation. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with 2 minus square root of 2 plus x is equal to x squared. Now, we move this uh, x squared to the left side and this negative uh, square root of 2 plus x uh, to the right side. Then, this equation will become 2 minus x squared is equal to this uh, negative square root of 2 plus x uh, will become positive square root of 2 plus x. Now, this expression at left hand side 2 plus x is under square root. So, this must be greater than or equal to 0. And this left hand side 2 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to 0. This expression 2 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to 0. And if you move this negative x squared to the right hand side, then this becomes 2 must be greater than or equal to x squared. It means x squared must be less than or equal to 2. So, we get two inequalities as a domain of this equation. First one is x must be greater than or equal to 0 and the second one is x squared must be less than or equal to 2. We use uh, these two conditions uh, to check the solutions of uh, this equation. Now, let us uh, continue by squaring both sides of uh, this equation. Left hand side we have uh, 2 minus x squared and we take uh, square at left hand side is equal to at right hand side we have uh, square root of 2 plus x and we take square on right hand side. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. This uh, 2 minus x squared whole squared is equal to 4 minus 4 x squared plus uh, x to the power 4 is equal to this square will be cancelled out with this square root and uh, at right hand side we are left with uh, 2 plus x. Now, we rearrange uh, these terms, uh, we write this x to the power 4 first, x to the power 4. Then we write this negative 4 x squared, negative 4 x squared and we move this uh, plus x to the left side, it becomes uh, negative x. And then we write this plus 4 plus 4. This uh, plus 2 becomes uh, negative 2 at left side is equal to 0. Next, x to the power 4 minus 4 x squared minus x 4 minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quartic equation. We use a synthetic division to find at least one or two roots. 
because there is no term with the third power of x so we rewrite this equation as x to the power 4 plus 0 times x to the power 3 minus this 4x squared 4x squared minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now in this expression we have constant 2 and uh, leading coefficient of this uh, x to the power 4 is 1. If we divide this 2 by this one, 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. In factors of 2 are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. To use the synthetic division, we write the coefficients of uh, this expression in a row. Like this, uh, coefficient of this x to the power 4 is 1 and coefficient this uh, x to the power 3 is 0 and coefficient this x squared is negative 4 and coefficient of this uh, x is uh, negative 1 and this constant 2. We try any one of uh, these factors of 2. First we try positive 1 this one comes down as it is. We multiply this one by this one. One time this one is 1 and we add this 0 and this one. 0 plus 1 is 1. Now we multiply this one by this one we get 1. And we add this negative 4 and this one. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Now we multiply this negative 3 by this one negative 3 times 1, negative 3. And we add these two terms, negative 1 and minus 3 is negative 4. And negative 4 times this one is negative 4 and 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2, which is not equal to 0. So, now we try another factor of 2. Now we try negative 1. We write negative 1 here and this one comes down as it is 1 and we multiply this one by this negative 1, 1 time negative 1, negative 1 and we add this 0 and this negative 1, 0 plus negative 1, negative 1 and we multiply this negative 1 by this negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1 negative 4 plus 1, negative 3. Now we multiply this negative 3 by this negative 1, negative 3 times negative 1, positive 3 and we add these two numbers, negative 1 plus 3, positive 2. We multiply this 2 by this negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and 2 plus negative 2 is 0. It means uh, x is equal to negative 1 is a solution. And if we move this negative 1 to the left side, we get the first factor x plus 1. And the second factor we write from here. This is equal to 0. Now, because in the equation we have fourth power of x and one power we have written here and here left third power of x. So, with this one we write x cubed, with this negative one we write x squared, and with this negative 3 we write x to the 1 power and these two remains constant. So, here we get x to the power 3 minus x squared minus 3 times x plus 2. Now, this is a cubic equation. We use a synthetic division again and we find another factor. Here we have a constant plus 2 again and the leading coefficient of this x cubed is 1 and 2 divided by 1 is 2 and factors of 2 are plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 and coefficients of uh, this expression we have already written here. We remove this x and this x squared and this x cubed. 
first we try positive 1 we write positive 1 here and this one comes down as it is we multiply this one by this one 1 times 1 is 1 negative 1 plus 1 is 0 and 0 times this one 0 and we add this negative 3 and 0 negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3 and we multiply this negative 3 by this one we get negative 3 and 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1 which is not equal to 0. So, we remove this and try negative 1. Now, we try negative 1 from here negative 1 this one comes down as it is 1 we multiply this one by this negative 1 1 time negative 1 is negative 1 and we add these two numbers negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2 negative 2 times this negative 1 is positive 2 and negative 3 plus 2 negative 1 negative 1 multiply by this negative 1 positive 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3 which is not equal to 0. So, we remove this and try positive 2 now. Now, we try this positive 2 we write positive 2 here and this one comes down as it is we multiply this one by this 2 1 time 2 2 and negative 1 plus 2 positive 1 and 1 time this 2 2 negative 3 plus 2 negative 1 and negative 1 times this 2 negative 2 and 2 plus negative 2 is 0. It means x is equal to 2 is another solution and we get the third factor first we have this factor x plus 1 and we get another factor x minus 2 the remaining factor is with this one we write x squared with this one we write only x and this negative one remains constant so here we get the factor x squared plus 1x minus 1 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from this equation we find the first value of x is equal to negative 1 and from this equation second value of x 2 and to find other two solutions we solve this quadratic equation in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 1 in according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b is 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. So, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is 4. So, 1 plus 4 5 divided by 2. So, from here we get a 2 values of x, x 3 is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and x 4 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And first we get the value of x 2 is equal to 2 and value of x 1 is equal to negative 1. So, we have 4 values of x. Now, we verify these values of x see that which values of x are solutions.
to verify we use the domain of this equation that is the condition one is x must be greater than or equal to 0 second condition is x squared must be less than or equal to 2 we have two conditions first is x must be greater than or equal to 0 and the second is x squared must be less than or equal to 2 this value of x1 negative 1 is less than 0 so this will be rejected and this value of x4 is less than 0 this will be rejected and for this value of x2 this condition is true this 2 is 2 is greater than or equal to 0 so this condition is true now let's check this second condition in place of this x we write 2 squared is it less than or equal to 2 2 squared is 4 and 4 is not less than or equal to 2 because this condition is false so this value 2 is also rejected this is not a solution now now we check this third value of x negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 this uh, square root of 5 is greater than 2 so this uh, negative 1 plus uh, square root of 5 over 2 is greater than 0 so this condition is true now we check this condition in place of this x we put this value negative 1 plus root 5 over 2 this uh, negative 1 plus root 5 over 2 can be written as uh, root 5 minus 1 over 2 and we take square because here we have square is it less than or equal to 2 now this uh, square root of 5 minus 1 whole squared is equal to square root of 5 squared plus 1 minus 2 times square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 is 4 is it less than or equal to 2 now this square will be cancelled out with this square root and 5 plus 1 becomes 6 minus 2 times square root of 5 divided by 4 is it less than or equal to 2 now from these two terms we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 4 is it less than or equal to 2 now these two 1 time and 2 2 times 4 and from here we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we are left with the 3 minus square root of 5 is less than or equal to 4 and square root of 5 is greater than 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 and this this is less than 4 so this condition is also true so both conditions are true so this value of x3 negative 1 plus root 5 over 2 is a valid solution of this equation